All right, welcome back, guys. Episode seven. I'm pretty sure we're at episode seven. You can check in the title, though, if this dude remembers. <laughs> okay. Funny thing, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Game capture didn't work this time. I have to use the other thing. Well. Anyways, to the game, back to the game. We gotta turn our volume up. So there was some animal uh, experimentation thing going on here, dude. <coughs> Dead dogs and all kinds of shit. Right. God, I love being. I love being in this castle. So, machine room, that's downstairs probably, right? But I came from this way. Let's see if there's anything else over here before we leave this. Leave the archives or whatever it is. No, I came from here, dude. Doesn't really matter though, I don't think there's anything more for us up here right now. Oh, there we go. Actually, there is. Find another way around the rubble in the study. Right. This fucking shit. Is this rubble? <laughs> another way. Around this. Another way around this. How, um... Maybe we just have to go downstairs now? <clears throat> I, uh... Don't think we can do anything else... Here. Uh... Right? Am I right? I think so. There's no secret tunnels or anything, right? So, as I said, I haven't played this before. It's been years since I've seen anyone play it. I was searching for a picture to use as a thumbnail or whatever. I didn't do it, but... Then that fucking monster... ...showed up. And I suddenly remembered that there's something big in this place. So, we got another problem. We don't have any more lamp oil. <laughs> the strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only... Oh, okay. We'll get to see that again soon enough, I guess. Machine for pigs, that's another game that we have not played. Can we fill our. Uh, is there any way? Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. It is. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> the shame will hurt much less than die, I assure you. Right. I was thinking about if there was like one of those big canisters here that we can fill our... Uh, so we can fill, get some oil in our lamp. But I don't think... Oh, a chest, by the way. Oh, yeah! Got some oil. Got some oil, dude. Uh... Are we supposed to go back... Down there? Oh.
Got a little bit. Find another way around the rubble in the study. I I uh, I don't really know how. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will <laughs> definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Fucking castle, yo. I'm not quite sure how we're gonna get to the study room, though. Um... Big ass lions. We heard some uh, some bad stuff about lions earlier. Did we go in here? This is the elevator, dude. Does that take us to the study? I actually think that that's that takes us to the study. I'm not sure though. The black eagle, right? The machine room. All right, we can go to the machine room first. I don't know if that's the right thing to do though. Maybe we should have gone in the elevator. So William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Machine room, dude. What machine? We don't have any... Oh, what is it called? Biological mass or whatever? That fucking meat shit? <laughs> this is the exhaust, maybe? Oh. I can't. Can reach it from hell. Yeah. Right. Awesome. What is this? Pressure. Oh god. The pressure. The pressure. You know about the prodigy. The prodigy. What is this though? That's the machine. Right, we got a note. Yes. Fifth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Today, I went to the university Haunted. looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Crucifer, which so many what royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Right. Haunted. Part one. Okay. Maybe we should go to the study first, yo. I don't know. Back when this game came out, was it 2010 or something? Was this like the fucking best horror shit you could get your hands on? That 
this is, I think, some of the best whole thing I've been sticking my nose into. I have a stuck my nose into because there's something about the atmosphere and everything in this game there. I'm hoping to find some more oil. Fourteenth <laughs> of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others, from a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to <clears> Brennenburg <throat> Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am yeah, I doing? Yeah, Alexander. Of this? Huh? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. Prussian. Being the least informative letter I've received. It causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Okay. Right. Dr. Tate. One more for you guys. Machine equipment memo. Uh, note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms. In case all three would crack again. Spare rods for the elevator machinery. Study room. Right. Flow. Flow and pressure. This is a valve. Holy. Where are we supposed to put this? <laughs> no, no. We'll leave it here though. I can't see where it's supposed to be. They're starting to get uh, a bit uh, puck. Oh no! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh great! This is great. This is just awesome. I uh. Okay, okay. No more lamp oil though. Are they starting to get a bit greedy on the lamp oil or a bit? I haven't seen a lot of it lately. And it's very fucking dark. And we got 
a slight headache. How how's the health though? We got some cuts and bruises. We almost we died one time though, and we almost died a second time. 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, head split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Alexander, dude. Um, we don't have any more fucking oil, though. Oh, God. Oh, we got to bring it down here. Right. Got it. Oh, do we? Needs more work, right. We got to go and get... That, uh... Fog wheel or whatever it's called. That's one. Didn't we have one in half too? Do we need both of them? It's so fucking dark, dude. Holy shit. That, that's in the right position, right? <laughs> it's so loud. I, I should really, I should, I should turn the volume down a bit. Hey, that's my fucking trademark when I play horror games. Loud. Right. This isn't connected to any other wheels, though. My sanity, dude. Uh, I need oil. We need oil, yo. Right, they're connected now, but is there anything else? I don't even know what this does. Oh no. I don't even know what it does, dude. Am I supposed to know? Nothing in the burl now for it to ignite. How do we open the burl now? Oh, this way. Are oh, you get the fuck? Nope. Right, let's go down. We need oil, dude. We need some fucking oil. It's cold. Yeah. It's so cold. Is there any fucking light source? Oh yes, nice. Is there a fucking light source around there though? That's not no light source. How do we Is this coal? We can't dig it though. Can we? No. No fucking way we can. Oh, coal lumps. Nice. Okay. But we still need more cogwheels.
How much do we have to put in? Is that it? I don't know, I don't know how much we need. The burner is not full. But I suspect there's no use in putting the burner... Installing the burner without... Fixing this. So one more wheel. Right. Have we seen any earlier that we didn't care about? What is this? The back hole? Any... Let's see... There's nothing here. The last one, yo. It's not here, dude. What the fuck is it? We have to. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damn curiosity. <laughs> it's not all out here, is it? Do you think it's in the. In the study? Or do we have to start the machine to make this elevator run? You think we need to do that? Yeah, of course. That's the deal. The engine powers... How could I not know that, dude? <laughs> how did I not... So... We need to find another wheel, yo. It has to be downstairs, right? It can't it can't be up here, dude. I I don't think. I don't think it's here. I must have overseen it. I don't think it's in the storage. Do you think it's down here? Maybe? The darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. Do we need get some lights going in here or what is there something else that is probably something else equipment it might be down there though Light candles and torches to reduce loss of sanity. Right, yeah. Maybe we should do that. We're... 
We have like seven. Oh, there's no torch. We have to find them in the study, I think. Dude. No, wait. I don't know. Never mind. I'm not sure, dude. But I don't. I don't. I don't think I have to uh, light. Do I have to light all of these? I don't think we had to do that. We, we did it. Tongs, tinder boxes. What is this? A drill park. Oh, now it starts. So oh, how fun. Right. How fucking fun, dude. He closed the door. Why did he close the door and then break it? He probably heard me, right? I'm scared to turn the light on. Is he gone? So he's not afraid of light. It it's not afraid of light. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's gone. I think, I think it's, I think it's gone. Please, let me go. I won't tell anyone, I swear. I just want to go home. No, get away from me. Leave me alone. Who is that? Is that my, my wife or something? I don't know, dude. I was thinking about that urn or whatever in the basement earlier. Did we get something? Machine parts though, that sounds fucking promising, right? There should be a cogwheel on here. That's what it's called, right? A cogwheel? More budge. More bones and shit. It's closed off. The rubble from a cave in is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Fuck! Well, we're gonna do that in the next episode, right? So, um. Yeah. Again, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you if you like. Thank you and welcome if you subscribe. And uh, I hope you have a great fucking day night or whatever it is for you, right? So, um, you keep fucking slaying and I'll see you around, hopefully. Like, seriously. Okay, bye.